Summer's just coming to an end here in northern Wisconsin, and for us that means that hunting season is just around the corner. It's time to go out and get our equipment back in order so we can use it this year. Now this old tree stand has been standing out in the trees for a long time, and this year the squirrels got to the seat. It's time to replace it or buy a new tree stand, and I just don't want to buy a new tree stand when I can replace the seat cheap and easy. If you want to see how we do that, stick around. I'll help you get a handle on things. Now we're going to need some basic tools and supplies to do this project, and that includes a hammer, a pair of shears, a tape measure, some paracord, a grommet kit that you can buy on eBay for about 15 bucks, or you can pick it up at your local big box store or hardware store for about 15 to 20 dollars also. Some canvas that's going to be able to stand up to the outside weather for a couple of years. And you really don't have to have the spray adhesive, but it sure makes the job a whole lot easier. I'll show you. For this tree stand, I'm going to want a piece of canvas that's going to be about 19 and a half inches wide across the top, and then some extra to roll underneath so we can lace it up underneath. And it's going to want to be about 16 inches long. I salvaged this piece of canvas from an old ice fishing house that was too damaged to repair. I'm going to double it up so that I have two thicknesses. It'll just make this a little bit stronger for me. We'll take the spray adhesive and we'll make this double layer into a single layer by just sticking it together. Use plenty of glue and then wait for it to get a little bit sticky before you fold it over on itself. And then smooth it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Pretty good is going to be good enough. Now I'm going to fold the ends in to get this something closer to the right size. Again, a little bit of spray adhesive. And fold it over. That'll give my grommet something real solid to grab into. And we'll spray it here and fold it over here as well. Twenty eight inches. And 28 and a half inches, that's close enough. And we'll do this the same way. We don't really care what this bottom side looks like because it's not going to be visible. Top side's going to look real nice. Let's get our grommet kit out and put some grommets on this so we can lace it onto the tree stand. Our grommet kit comes with two things in it. It comes with tools and it comes with parts. These are what we're going to call the pretty side of the grommet and these are what we're going to call the washer side of the grommet. This is our fabric punch. And this is our actual grommet tool here, two pieces. We're going to start by punching five holes on this edge of the canvas all the way through. Make sure that you're set up on something really solid, otherwise when you're pounding you're going to get a lot of bounce and it's going to make it no fun. So first hole is going to go pretty close to the corner. And you'll get a hole all the way through, just like that. Now remember, whatever's underneath this is going to be damaged by your punch, so don't do this on your kitchen table now. Put one in the middle. One here. And one here. Now this is going to be the pretty side, so we want that to be down when we're installing our grommets. We're going to take this base plate, put a grommet in it like that, and push it through the hole, just like that. Then we're going to take one of these washers, set it over the top of the grommet, take this grommet tool, and we're going to give it a couple of good wraps. And it really is just that easy. I'm going to do the rest of these and then do some more on the other side. Hey, could you do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe? It really helps the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. Thanks.
it really is just that fast and easy. Not much to it at all. And if you know how to put the grommets on these, you can put grommets on anything. If you need to make a custom tarp for your boat or for your playhouse roof or something like that, this is a great skill to have. All right, here's our tree stand seat. Let's see how it's going to fit. Got plenty to go over the sides and they'll fold under. And that's going to leave us plenty to be able to lace this up. I'd say this is going to work very nicely. I'm going to take a double length of paracord and I'm going to tie a knot on each end. That keeps it nice and straight, makes it a little easier to lace. Get your seat centered nicely. That looks pretty good like that. And then just keep lacing. Now to finish my lacing, I just pull things good and tight, make sure that my seat is pretty straight, pull things good and tight, and then throw some half hitches in there and use up all of the string that I've got to use. So I don't have anything hanging down blowing in the wind. That'll be pretty good like that. Then I'll tighten it up going the other way. Oops. And more half hitches. There we go and we got a new tree stand seat that looks just like a million bucks all green and wrinkled. See you next time when we get a handle on things.